What is going on everybody? Today we're looking at the new LEGO Icons Alpine Lodge, a part of the Winter Village Collection. Now this set is 10325 with 1517 pieces that retails for $99.99. So this is a pretty cool set where we get another part of our Winter Village. Although this doesn't seem very Winter Village-ish, but it still has a lot of cool, neat designs. Where we have our Alpine Lodge, so we almost get like our log cabin sort of built design. I love how it's sort of like more stone at the bottom and the log cabin design up top. But it's going to be a lot as it says an alpine lodge like a ski lodge but as we look at the set you'll see we have you know sort of like a greeting area with a little lounge and then upstairs we have bedrooms and everything so gonna have a lot of cool stuff there then we have some exterior stuff so what's pretty fun we have an outhouse over here you can see we get a snowmobile with a little sled we get like a frozen pond or whatever as an ice skating rink as well which is all pretty cool so just looks very neat overall but if we spin the box around you can see what the inside is going to look like so we have the inside of our lodge there which again looks really neat we'll go in more detail and then some more more actions and stuff going on with all the different little pieces of the set with our minifigs so overall this is another fun looking set with a lot of great details especially in the building and so many fun little things going on here so another great build for the Wilner village so let's go and look at the set starting with the minifigs so here are the five minifigs we get in the set in a nicer range. So we have some characters that I would say more work at like the lodge and then some people to spend time at the lodge doing activities. So first we have this older lady. So you can see it's an older lady. She has the eyelashes and of course the gray hair. So you can tell she's older there. But I think it looks pretty nice with that hair piece. The face looks nice. She has a little smile there and an even bigger smile there on the back. So you can choose either one of those. And then she has a nice gray sweater. It looks almost like a knitted sweater with nice design there in gray going around to the back as well with a white shirt underneath and then she just got some tan color pants with some pockets there on the front so that looks pretty good and then she does also come with a helmet and goggles obviously you can use this for anybody but from the set it comes with her so we can take her hair piece off and put this helmet on so it gives her a helmet and some goggles so she can be driving around the snowmobile so it kind of protects her there so just a fun little thing and obviously we could put this on any of the characters but like I said just from the set it shows it comes with her so she looks nice then we have a guy that I would assume is like the M keeper so he looks nice with his brown hat on look pretty nice design I've never seen this in the Lego yes that's cool then we have his face again an older man you can see with some of the wrinkles love his little gray mustache there with the glasses on and his gray eyebrows and nothing on the back probably because he's got the hat so you don't want to have that extra printing on there but then it looks nice he's got like this tan color shirt with like a brown apron on over the top going down to some blue pants so he looks pretty nice so again just another worker for the lodge then we have what I would consider a guest at the lodge because she comes with like a suitcase but she looks pretty good overall has this black bob haircut this big smile there on the front and just kind of asleep so she can be in bed asleep I guess has a nice like cardigan looking sweater over the top with a white button up underneath with the white sleeves coming down as well and then some blue pants on there it looks pretty nice just overall and the printing carrying around on the back and then again just a suitcase there so it can have all the luggage and I don't know if it came with her but I think I saw but we get a little kitten as well so we have a little kitten to go with the set we get three animals total with it so see the other two on the actual lodge but yeah just a little small kitten there to go with the set as well then we have a skier so obviously someone can be out skiing so looks pretty nice so he's got a nice big smile on his face with his brown hair all slicked back and he should have a printing there on the back of a worried face so maybe he's not doing too well on the slopes but it's cool he comes with a backpack piece as well and brown and then his jacket on so his red white and blue jacket design with the white sleeves and then the red and blue design in the center some red snow pants on there as well he has the two ski poles and the two blue skis so he can be skiing along which is pretty fun and finally we have our little kid that's a hockey player so he's got some hockey skates on a hockey puck and a hockey stick and looks pretty fun has nice rosy cheeks and some freckles on the face there with some brown hair and then we also have a face on the back and I love how is the braces that looks pretty nice with a red scarf a nice blue sweater so again like a knitted sweater design an ugly sweater design looks pretty cool with the blue designs that carries around there to the back and then some blue pants and he does have the short legs so he won't have range of movement or anything but does make him smaller than the rest of our characters oh and he does also come with a purple hat so if you want to have him like outside playing hockey you can put the toboggan there on his head as well instead of the hair so that's pretty fun giving the different options for that and I love how he had like the braces face and stuff so pretty fun with that design as well so you can have him on the pond playing hockey so pretty fun with all of our minifigs and I think we'll move to all our extra little items so first we have our snowmobile so nice fun looking little snowmobile here of course obviously enough to room the set of character with the C and the controls little windshield on it and then of course the front of the snowmobile with the two skis on the front to obviously go around through the snow with the tracks on there so we just have the Technic piece acting as the track there to be able to push it through the snow and then it also has this little piece like a sled or trailer attached onto it love how it has the little green with the red of course carrying over with the Christmas design so that looks pretty nice and if you saw 
from the pictures on the back of the box. You can like take the Christmas tree like they've chopped down the tree and are taking it from the woods back into the place. Of course you have to take off the different like ornaments and stuff there but it can pull it along with that. So that is pretty cool and as I mentioned we can take the lady we have and sit her on there to be able to control and drive the sled on. So that's pretty fun having that in that you can tow the tree and all that stuff. Then we have that outhouse which is pretty fun so really nice to see that house pretty much in all wood design love the snow covered roof and snow piled up and around it with the little tree with a new design of tree for me at least so it looks pretty nice going from the green leaves to the white covered in snow so that's pretty nice and then we have our outhouse that obviously can't open up where we have a toilet and even like a roll of toilet paper there so that is pretty fun overall just getting the little outhouse design just another fun thing and then we have our frozen little pond that can turn into an ice rink so obviously we have a nice smooth surface here with a nice pearlescent window design they use for that to make the ice we have like a little dock that's coming over which looks nice of course with the piled up snow the chains look pretty nice being the railings we get another one of the trees there we have just the little classic christmas tree designs a little like someone built a snowman there and then over to the side we have a place where you can rent some ice skates we have some extra ice skates there and someone apparently just leaving a hundred dollars laying around but just like a little bin jerry there where you can get ice skates to be able to skate on the ice so that looks pretty fun overall just with the design there which is pretty cool and it looks almost like they kind of use like a snot technique where a lot of the lego pieces like on the bottom were especially like laid down built from the side so you can see the bottom there and sort of built up to the front here so that's pretty fun that they did that with lego i think that's about the first time i've ever experienced that so that's pretty fun as well so that really gives us all our extra outside accessories from our lodge and then we have our lodge itself which looks really nice like just from the exterior looks very nice of course with being part of the winter village they had a bunch of little details to make it fit in you know be around christmas time of course there is the snow everywhere but then they add the red and green colors so like on the window here we have some leaves with the red i guess they could be like mistletoe or something on the sign over here a part of our two pines in we have of course some red and green hanging off of it and then up around the top we have some garland design with like a wreath and more of the red and green coming across and across the front there as well so again just makes it look more holiday and stuff but i think from the front it looks really nice this thing just looks absolutely beautiful and nice and like I said from the box we get the stone down below so it's all like brick built and everything with the stones and the darker stone colors the gray and the dark gray so that looks pretty nice of course our window with the nice shutters here and the crossed window design looks pretty nice our green door with the lamps on each side of it over to the side here we have a box with a snow shovel so you can be able to shovel all the snow and then over on this Side, we have a wood chopping area so we have some wood stacked up under this little section here that is a nice little piece you can move back and forth but some wood piled up under there that you can chop on this big stump here with the axe available so that all looks pretty nice and then we move up to the second story where we turn into like the log cabin design which looks pretty nice and this more I don't know if it's the nougat color or what exactly color it is but it's more of like that burnt orange or brownish orange color but looks pretty nice we got a window on the side here that comes around up top here we have a little bird house with a bird so there's one of our animals another Another window so I love how it has the snow all piled up there and then we go over to our balcony with the door that leads out again in the matching green and love with this log cabin design the way they did the overlapping here to make it look like that log cabin just looks so nice and again on our balcony we have snow piled up on top of the railing with a squirrel sitting here so I love how it's knocked some of the snow down off the side looks pretty nice with the window and then over on this far side here we have our chimney so nice chimney design with the different shades of gray and some snow piled up in areas and then finally that that leads up to our roof which looks pretty nice overall especially in the front here this design I just love this design that they put on with the dark brown underneath lighter normal brown on top with the like beam design or whatever looks awesome and then of course our roof is completely covered in snow so you can see that covered in snow piles all the way over there all the way to the top of our chimney which does have the function I'll show you when we get to the inside so just overall from the outside this thing just looks awesome love this design with the stone on the bottom the wood up top it just looks nice and of course the thrown in decoration to make it holiday -ish and stuff so it all looks awesome but we'll spin it around and go to the inside of our lodge and starting at the bottom we of course have the entrance into the lodge we'll go ahead and move the tree out of the way and we have a little greeting area here so of course the little counter where a worker can work we have a guest book so people can write in they even have a little pin there off to the side so people can write in the guest book if they want and back behind that we have a tray of cookies and it looks like a coffee maker I don't know if you can really see with the light but there's like a coffee maker design and then some bottles of stuff out 
don't know if it's supposed to be like creamers and everything there or the coffee but yeah just have that little section set up there so people can obviously have some treats as they come in then we go over to the fireplace which again looks really nice i love having the red and green designs with the leaves up top and the garland that all looks nice we have a fireplace which i'll show you in a second with a function of course it's hard to really see but it's a nice big fireplace looks really nice with a bunch of flames in there and then we have like a fire poker or whatever we want there so that's pretty cool and then we have a nice little seating lounge area so we have two chairs on a yellow rug with a table with some like coffee cups and a donut or cookie there so that all looks pretty nice and of course over here i did take off the christmas tree so we do have like a red skirting where the christmas tree can sit there ready for christmas now back to the fireplace there is a function like i said if you push on the top of the chimney that has a light up function so if you push on that it will light up the fire so there you can see the fire burning in the chimney so that looks really nice so very nice to have the fire in the fireplace and like i said just the overall big design of it looks really nice for that and then we can move up to our second floor where we have a bedroom. So we have a bedroom with two beds in it. So we have a bed over to the side and a bed here. Again, nicely decorated where we have a wreath above the fireplace. And this is another fireplace section. And if we push on the top of the chimney, it does light up as well. So you can see a, like a flame design there for the fireplace on this floor as well. So we have a bed and next to it, like a nightstand with a candle with a flame on it. We have a door that goes to the outside balcony there on the second floor. And I love how it's got the little snow prints coming in. And there is some more on the outside as well. So track and then snow into the room but then we have another little nightstand with a present on top of it and a picture up there on the wall oh then we have a nice rug coming out on the floor here with another nightstand with a candle and the bed there in the back and the red and green designs on the curtains there in the back above that window look pretty nice as well again carrying on some of that Christmassy design so that's really all there is for the second floor and then we go to the top floor that's kind of like an attic but we do have another bed up here and it's hard to really tell what's going on in the back here like if there's any like nightstands or anything but but there is a little area where a candle is sitting so there's a candle in the back and you can see up there we do have some more red and green with the garland design and then we do have some presents just sitting around so there are some presents in here you know hidden around for christmas and everything so there's not much to it pretty much just the bed and there is like a carpet design going around it with like i said some like stuff there is more green so i don't know if it's supposed to be the same like nightstands are up there I'm again not really sure what's going on there's just not much room and not a whole lot going on up there besides mostly just the bed and the present over here to the side so that's really all there is as i mentioned with the fireplace we do have the function so if you push down on this it's what lights up the fireplace again that's part of the function there and that's really about all there is for this I can't really think or see anything else I needed to point out or to show you like I said just a lot of nice detail I love the exterior of the building especially the logs as I said with the overlapping of the corner I think the inside looks pretty nice especially down here where it's even got you know like the little breakfast area with the coffee maker and all the stuff there that looks nice the fireplace looks amazing the seating area nice little details the bedrooms all look nice just so many things about this it seems like they put in the extra details and designs into these winter village places just because they add so many little details that i wouldn't think to probably add into a set like this but they do it and it makes it look amazing well, that's going to be it for our 2023 LEGO Winter Village Collection Alpine Lodge set. Such a great looking set and design. Of course, every year it's nice that they're always about the same price, about the $100 mark. Come with a lot of cool stuff, good mini figure selection to go along with each set, and just very nice design overall to fill out more of that Winter Village. And just another beautiful set, I must say. I absolutely love this set. So let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, let me know with a thumbs up. But well, thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there, and I'll see you in our next review. Thank you.